it's uh, been a great honor to be a part of this project and then to be a part of the uh, conceptual design of, of this reservoir site. Initially, it was based on our connection with the beaver and the uh, role that it's played in our cultural identity was very important. As well as the, uh, the reflection of our cultural interpretation in anything we do here in Sutina Nation. A lot of times reservoirs are kind of buried, they're kind of hidden away. Um, and one of the things that we, when we start talking about this project is really showing the connection of water to the land and to the Sitina and showing how it's important culturally to them. The primary purpose of the water reservoir is to provide a consistent water source for the development. It provides storage for emergency flows and domestic use. The most rewarding aspect really has to do with the fact that this kind of a project has so many intricacies and so many details, and it requires a real level of expertise. At the end of the day, we are paying sort of a tribute to the land and its people, and that's rewarding in itself, and it's, it's a genuine honor. The idea was using these, these wood logs to represent uh, a number of different things, including a beaver dam, uh, the, the, the form of a teepee, and kind of turn it into this textural element uh, that, that speaks to some of those narratives. Uh, different woods, uh, different accent elements, lighting. You know, the reservoir itself is, is on display, and so you, you get kind of this window into what's actually going on. Without this, uh, we don't have a Tizaw community, a uh, Tizaw park. It's creating the, the community and, and servicing the whole development itself. So it's the start of something. The rewarding part is working with the Satina Nation and the Satina Nation being, being known as the Beaver people. It's a perfect fit to sort of give back homage to, to the Satina community.